MovieWeb.com. We are gathered here to celebrate love, pure and simple. Rachel is pure, Sydney is simple. <laughs> You look great. Oh, no, I'm so fat. Stop it. No, you... I would swear to God that you were puking again. First, I want to ask you is, did you have a point of view when you were writing this script? Because Jonathan Demme said that he was coming at it from various different points of view. When you say point of view... Do As you... a character's point of view, was uh... this a character somewhere? Because he has various different characters. He said that this was... Yeah, no, I totally view. get it. I totally get it. And I got to say, and this is probably the worst screenwriting thing that you can do, but I genuinely felt every single person was right. And as I was writing for this character, that character, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. And then the other person was like, oh, yeah. So weirdly, I, I, I knew everybody was heroic, mm -hmm. and that's kind, of, that's kind of it. I really felt strongly about that everybody was absolutely right, because I think in families, they're so demented, and they make people so nuts that you can always find sort of a leg to stand on everywhere. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But well, I guess what he said, the one that interested me and made me go back and relook at the movie a second mm -hmm. time, was that this was all coming from the point of view of the dead brother, and that mm -hmm. he was overlooking yeah, yeah. the whole situation. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering if that was ever in your head, or if yes. that something he brought to it. The ghost in the house. We talked about the ghost yeah. in the house a lot. Um, and I think it's... Yes, the ghost of Ethan is very much in the script, um, in small, tiny, tiny ways, um, like in the dishwasher scene with the plate. Um, and there was a couple of musical things that were very specifically about Ethan and for Ethan. The, there's a little boy and a dog and little little boy moments, but the camera work. You, there's, he, you really understand, because Jonathan made this choice, you know, there's one scene where Anne is shot from behind, looking straight up like that, and mm -hmm. that's a little boy looking at her. And he's, you know, there's the scene with the white candle in the pool that's shot from under, and of course that's the little boy under the water. Who else could be looking, seeing that? So yeah, I mean, it's definitely, there's definitely a ghost in the house. Okay, well, when you sat down to write the film, did you have an intent to make, that he would make it like this, like a home movie, no. sort of? No, I thought, um, uh, no, that was completely him. That was completely him. I thought, I wrote what I thought was pretty straightforward. Um, I tried to be an, as honest as possible, but in terms of that it is like a, a home movie of a family that you might ne not necessarily want to <laughs> hang out with, um, that's him, that's 100% him, and I think it added. It added. Were you sneaking into weddings to try to get like different viewpoints of weddings while you were writing this? Or no, this I mean I've had a couple in my in my in you know my travels around the block. I've had two, but none as good as that. I thought that was a pretty cool wedding with those naked Brazilian dancing girls, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if you know, if they should be in every movie. Was I personally it, think. Gonna say, were you one of the people in the wedding? Or like, did he ever give you a camera to walk around with, no. or did you ever do anything like I that? I was actually not allowed on set. No, um, no, he doesn't allow his writers on set. And I wheedled and pleaded and it was horrible and he still said, you can wheedle and plead all you want, but no, stay home. <laughs> I know, it was very frustrating. I would, I would think so. Yeah. Okay, well, that's my time. All right, well, that was brief but lovely. Uh, yeah. Thank you. you Thank you. Oh, I do? Oh, yeah, I thought the tap was, was, done. was done. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And we're back. We're back. Oh, what's up? <laughs> How you doing? How <laughs> much has changed since the last time I saw you? So, I'm sorry. So, um, when you're writing this, this did the dialogue was it in place, or did they come in and change a lot of the dialogue as far as like improving it? No, it was. It's pretty. It's, it's it's funny because it's technically fluid. The actors did not know where the shot was coming up from, but the, the script was tight. 100% of the script is in the movie. It was not. It was very specific. And Jonathan likes to say 100% of the script is in the movie and. The script makes up 95% of the movie. No, I was going to say, did you think the rehearsal dinner would play as well as it does? Because, I mean, that's like one of the most uncomfortable scenes I've seen in a film in a long time. <laughs> right on! Right on! Look, I had no idea. I hoped for the best. And with a cast like that and a director like that, the odds were that it was going to do what it needed to do. 
So I'm extraordinarily lucky. And may all of your ups and downs come only in the bedroom. Yeah.